So less than three. Now let's just do the feet. Just take a quarter step. So quarter step is between the far corner and the middle point. So my feet goes from here, just a little bit, quarter step. Just a quarter step. So, but remember, start with the right foot first, or front foot first, so front foot, quarter step, and then front foot, quarter step. So we end up in the, back into the middle. So from here, quarter step, quarter step, that's the feet. From here, quarter step, quarter step, okay? The hands, let me just show you the whole sequence. So I go one, two, one, two. Okay, we end up here, we go one, two. So let's start with the left hand. It was here, do zam sao, and then bong sao. Okay, here, zam sao, low bong sao. One more time. Time so, low bong so. The right hand, end up like this. So it's going low bong so, back to tan so. Okay, low bong so, back to tan so. Low bong so, back to tan so. And combine them together. Gan so and bong so. Tan so, low bong so. One more time. Gan so, low bong so. Tan, tan so, low bong so. And last time. Zam so, low bong so. Tan so, and low bong so. Lesson three. Let me just show you the whole sequence here. So I'm going to go quarter step, quarter step. Okay, so I started here, quarter step, quarter step. Okay, so what I'm doing, let's just do it with the feet first. So quarter step means I'm only stepping a quarter. And then remember this is a quarter, there's a half, and then three quarters, and then back to the middle. So I'm here, it's a quarter step, and then another quarter step. So make sure that you step with the front foot first, then you shuffle with the back foot, front foot, and shuffle the back foot. And notice that most of my weight is on my leg, back leg. 70% of the weight is on the back leg, 30% on the front leg. Let's start with the left hand. So from here, the first one was, is a zam sao. And then as I do that, I do a long, low bong sao. Okay, so from here, this is the palm. Turns to a zam sao, and then low bong sao. So this is a side palm, turns into a zam so, turns into a low bong so. The right hand, this was a tan so, turns into a, a low bong so, turns back to a tan so. Okay, right hand, a tan so, turns to a low bong so, back to a tan so. Right hand, was a tan so, low bong so, back to a tan so. So we'll start here with a tan so and then low palm. Turns to there, quarter step, quarter step. One more time. Start here. Quarter step. Quarter step. One more time. Zam so low bong so. Tan so and low bong so. So let's say he's gonna punch me in the gut, and my hand is up here, right? And then up here, up here as a tan so. So he punched me in the gut. Then this becomes a low gan sao, and this one becomes a zam sao, which can be used to uh, chop this way, or it can be used as a, just a punch. So it's kind of like you twist and punch like that. I, my hand's up here, and then he punched me in the gut, and then you see the movement. I do the movement at the same time, and they both rotate like this. So what's happening is it turns him. At the same time, I'm attacking at the, at the same time. If it's a little closer, like this, he's punching, I can, I can chop him in the neck, or if he's lower, a little bit, little bit shorter, I can chop him in the neck. But if he's too tall like this, I can't chop his neck because it's too far. So instead, I can just do a punch here. Okay, so that's the first move. Remember, we go, dum, dum, like that, right? So one, 
two. So how you combine together is like one, and then let's see he's gonna punch me that harm. Then I got this one. So from here, he punches, I punch him here, and then when he punches the other one, I can use this as a guide. If he doesn't pivot, I can actually keep my arm here and pin his arm. So one time, he punches, I punch him, I can use this to pin his arm here, so I kind of control it. I can use it as a tack here, but then I block this one here too at the same time. Okay, so that's how you use them in sequence. Okay, so as a drill, you can just go straight on, punch, like this. Okay, so punch, punch, like that. That's how you do lesson number three.